It is great to be joined by Steve Worrell from his base up in Lincolnshire. First pirate on the team sheet for 2020. Steve, how does it feel to be a pirate? It's brilliant. Um, when, I, when I first heard the rumours that there might be a possibility of Poole dropping down into the championship, it was something that I wanted to try and inquire about because the the heritage and the history of the club, and I know it's a bit of a shame for them to be dropping down, but they have, they have the reasons. And um, But... It, it's only good for the championship. You know, that, that league now is so strong. Um, and it, yeah, as soon as I heard it, I, I kind of started inquiring to, to see if it was something that I could get in there and be part of the team. And um, it was great chatting with Matt and um, yeah, we managed to, to put something together and I got myself there, which yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm over the moon about. So you were actually looking to come to Paul before we come to you, if you like. So you made the first move. Yeah, well, I'd... To be honest, I had quite a few people interested. Um, I think it's with my average being quite low, um, but yeah, that, that's based on performances this year. Um, yeah, with my average being quite low, I, I kind of fit in, fit in well at number three around two other strong heat leaders. So I think it it was um, I, I, I did have quite a lot of a lot of people getting in touch, um, and yeah, I kind of. I had Poole as an idea uh, of, of one place that I wanted to, to be and it kind of yeah, it just worked out that things worked out and we, we managed to, to get in touch and do it. Awesome. Right, well, on the club, social media, Instagram and so on, we got a selection of questions here that we're going to ask you. They're straight from the fans themselves, so let's get cracking on here and find out your views. Finlay Coles asked, is Poole a club you've always wanted to ride for? Well, like I said um, just a minute ago, it... When I heard the rumours, it was something that got me excited, yeah, and, and I obviously wanted to inquire about it because when, when you just look at the history and, and everything else, for them to be dropping down, I, I can't imagine that they're going to go into that league not wanting to win it. You know, you, you come from being multiple time winners in the in the Premiership to, to dropping down, and I, I can only imagine that they're going to want to um, make a big mark on it. So that that was something that really interested me and. Um, uh, I've read interviews that um, Dan and Matt have done in newspapers and things, and and they've said that they had um, uh, well a lot of riders getting in touch and inquiring uh, the same as myself to to get into the team, and that ju- that just it speaks for itself. You know, when, when you look at uh, the history and everything that the club have got, the, why wouldn't any rider want to be there? Um, so yeah, that's it's exciting. It's exciting for myself and. They've always been in the in the Premiership, and with my um, me being with, with Bellevue and being an asset, it was um, yeah, for the years past. It's never been an option, but um, it's nice to be able to get there now. And my relationship with Matt is um, is brilliant, so it's yeah, we we can put all that together, and it, hopefully it'll be a good recipe for for success. Brilliant, I hope so as well. Heading over to Twitter, at Nobby Bray, he says, now that my beloved club has dropped out of the top tier, like we've just been speaking about, can you assure me that all of the top guys who also have rides in the Premiership will give out 100% on a Wednesday night when they're also booked to ride on a Thursday? Bit of a question there, what do you think? Uh, I read this question myself. I, I didn't quite understand it, to be honest, because um, as a Speedway rider, we only get paid for the points that we score. Um, so... If I was to come to pool on a Wednesday and not try very hard, because I was thinking about Thursday, uh, the only person who's getting put out is myself. I'm doing myself out of money basically. But um, yeah, th- that's not why we do it. We we could get a normal job and earn um, earn a normal living um, without the risks. But the reason we do it is because you know, we, we love winning at the end of the day, and I think it doesn't matter what level um, of speedway you're at, you, you still go out there to win. There's no, I don't think there's any rider that will go out there not to win. And um, so yeah, the, uh, it's not really a question that you need, that needs answering. You know, I'm, I'm almost certain or hundred percent certain that uh, myself and the other six riders in the team will be giving it everything to, to win the meetings. Fully focused. That's it. Yeah. Okay, heading over to Instagram then, Lisa Collette 82 has asked, have you any individual or team goals for next season? Well, for the last for the last five years, oh, maybe longer I'd say, I've, I've always been at number one in the any team in the championship that I've been in. 
Um, and this year is a bit strange for myself starting at number three um, and, and having two guys around me or two guys above me that um, are exceptionally, exceptionally good and they'll make it very tough for me to get to number one. But that's something that I want to try and do because it, I think that I've always been there. I see myself as, as a number one and to start at three, it's a bit um, for myself like disappointing it, it it shows what a bad season I had last year but um I've been at number one for five years in a row for for a reason you know that's what I see myself as so that that's one thing that I'd like to try and get back to um it'll be tough because the the two guys the two heat leaders are, are brilliant so yeah it's um it'll be tough but it's it, that's something that I want to achieve well, it's interesting because your answer links into the next question. Jack Paradin Baker on Facebook asked, do you think being one of three heat leaders in the side next year will help take the pressure off you? Will that help your riding? No, not so much. We we all obviously want to win. Um, and I quite enjoy it. I, I, quite enjoy, I, I prefer being at number one, to be honest. I like getting out first, getting on the track. and um, I like the way that the, the programme works when you're at number one. You, you're well spread out. It's... it's um, like uh, you, you have nice nice gaps in between your heats, so if you have any issues or you read in the track and things like that, it's, I, I prefer it. I prefer it at number one, to be honest. Whether it's just I've I've become used to it now, I don't know, but um, I do prefer it there. So I, it it will take a bit of pressure off because I've got two guys um, at one and five who can uh, go out there and say say one person's having a bad night. That there's always two more to pick that up and. It, and uh, I think that that's a good way of, of working it because you're not so reliant on just one person then. Yeah, it's good for the team. Yeah, it's, it's good for the for the whole team. So, yeah, I don't think it, I don't think it'll take any pressure off. Obviously, we we all want to win, but it will make things a little bit a little bit easier. Brilliant. Okay, so a little bit lighthearted now. At Maze One Nine Two over on Twitter asked if you were to have a victory song that Pool Stadium played every time you won a race, what would it be and why? Uh, I did see this, one, so I did. A, I had a little look. Uh, it's not something I'm into, um, and I wouldn't usually listen to it all the time. But it's it's something that kind of, like gets me going a little bit. And I went through. Uh, I was going through a few songs earlier, and um, just to. It, I, I, when I'm driving home from a speedway meeting or something, and it's really late at night, you put put like a song similar on, and it'll kind of perk you up and helps you get down them roads when it's dark and three in the morning. Um, yeah, Led Zeppelin, a whole lot of love. I just like the beginning bit, the in, the introduction to the to it, it. It just when it comes on, it kind of gets you a little bit excited, and uh, that's what you need after a heat. You know, not Hey Baby then. No. <laughs> right, okay, heading back to your Facebook, Gary Goble. He says, I want to put a bet on you, Steve. I'd like you to hit three maximums around Wimborne Road next year. Are you up for it? I wouldn't like I wouldn't like to advise you to part with your cash. Um uh, I'd like to say I'd like to say yes. Obviously that that's my intentions and that, that's what we plan for. Um but um I'm not going to advise you to part on your cash there. So. Well, he hasn't technically said whether he wanted uh, full maximums or paid maximums, so you've got a little bit of leeway yeah. there. Yeah, you can. Uh, we might do a, a personal bet if you want, but I won't go to the bookies. Well, a little bit of fun now. Last question. I think it's someone you know. Someone from Instagram, the name of being Richard Worrell 69 You might know him. And he says, are you following in your brother's footsteps? <laughs> no, sadly not. No, he's, uh, I know. I know he's been at Pool, and he's um, he was a big hit there. Like the fans, the fans seem to really like him up there and uh, or down there. Sorry. Before you go any further, though, this links into our last question by Stephen Bradford. It says, "Do you think you are going to be as good or better than your brother Richie around the pool track?" Yeah, I think uh, I think I'm already better than him around there. I'm sure I beat. I'm sure I beat him last year. I can't remember if I did or not just before we go can you take a look into the camera lens all the fans there are waiting to hear what you've got to say speak to the fans tell them what you think of joining Paul and uh, what they've got to look forward to in 2020 from Steve Worrell yeah um, exciting times for, for the club obviously it's moving down into the championship it's for me in my eyes it's um, a very very strong lead now and when you look at the, the three heat leaders that Paul have got in the team now and obviously the other two will be announced soon um 
I think it, you'll all be really happy with, with the team that we put together and obviously the, the rest of the riders based around Heat Leaders. Um, it's exciting times, like I said. Um, I th I'm sure that the, the management are going into the league with the intentions of, of winning it and hopefully making it. I don't like to to speak so badly, but making a mockery of it, which hopefully we will. You know, it, it's nice. It would nice to be to to be able to go into it and just and clean up and win everything. And I think with the with Pool's heritage and history and and the mentality of winning it, there's no reason why they won't go into the championship with that attitude. And um, yeah, so it's it's I'm I'm looking forward to it. And can't wait to get going now. Um, there's a very good fan base at Pool, which that always helps when you when you've got them them good fans behind you all season pushing you on. Um, and hopefully they they'll travel around with us. It's there's a lot more a lot more clubs up north now, so you you might be able to pin some trips into Scotland and get up get up and around the country. So it'd be yeah, it's good, and I'm looking forward to getting going now. Brilliant. Okay. Well, thanks for your time today, Steve. Good luck with your winter training. And we're all going to look forward to seeing you press and practice day 2020. It's exciting times down here at Wimborne Road for the Pirates next year. It is. It is. Can't wait to get going. Thanks for your time, Steve. See you soon. Cheers, mate. Bye.